Hello everyone and you're welcome. In our last lesson we saw how we could plot using the GeoJetson Plotly file and we saw how we plot these winners based on these districts. This time around we'll go ahead and work with shape files. So uh, basically what are shape files? Now if you actually go ahead and check in this uh, wiki page, a shape file is a format that contains information on geographical data. So basically you could have you know lines, points and polygons all combined together to create a shape file. And you can read up more on the wiki page. Usually shapefiles has a uh, .shp file extension. So that's how you can recognize a shape file. And it's developed by the uh, GIS company E3 which is a uh, GIS uh, software provider with a uh, geo database management system. So also if you go ahead and look up here under GeoPandas, GeoPandas can read shape files using the GeoPandas underscore read file. So now that we know what shape files are, I understand that GeoPandas can read shape files. So where can we get shape files? So there are basically a lot of sources for getting shape files. First you can get it on E3. But then again, there is a free spatial data on diva slash dash gis dot org slash data. You could actually select based on country level. And you could select a country. Let's go ahead and say, uh, let's say Canada. And if you click on Canada, let's go, let's go ahead and select roads. And if we click OK for the sources, and we can actually click download so we can download that information for the canadian roads it'll come as a zip file and once that's done we'll go ahead and extract that zip file so we can look at the uh, shape data so another source of data let's just go ahead and skip that it's uh in github so you go to github.com slash datasets slash geo dash countries so this will contain boundaries for country data and you can also look deep into that data which comes in from the natural earth data set so another place where we can get uh, shape files and different kind of types is on the eurostat uh, page so you go to ec.europa.eu slash eurostat web slash gisco slash geodata slash reference hash data admin units it's a very long uh, <laughs> It's a very long site, but if you go to Eurostat, you can actually uh, scroll down here and you can look at the uh, shape file, the topo JSON or geo JSON for administrative or statistical unit for countries based on year. So you can check the 2001 to 2010. So I'll just go ahead and start my download for the Canadian uh, countries. And so these are three you know, credible sources where you can get these uh, data sets. Now there's a free, uh, fair use policy and some of these sites will actually tell you about those fair use uh, policies. But as long as you're not selling or you're, or you're not modifying the default information, you should be good to go. And it's for educational purposes. That's super fine. So that's how you can get the shape file. You can get the GeoJSON or TopoJSON. So let's go ahead and check our downloads. If our download is done. And let's just look at that uh, file. So I'll just go to my downloads. And it says here my download is complete. So I'll just go ahead and close that. So we have the Canadian roads zip file. So I'll just right click and extract to Canadian roads. So if I just go ahead and open that, we can actually see we have this that says the uh, AutoCAD shape source. So this is the shape file we are going to uh, use. If I want to get a, a path to that file, I'll just press the Windows slash R key to open up my run. So I'll just drag that and drop it right here. So this will be my path to the uh, Canadian shape file. I'll just go ahead and copy that. And let's jump to our Jupyter notebook so we can actually uh, paste that path. So I'll just say uh, CAN underscore roads is going to be equal to that path I just copied right here. And then to create this as a path, I'll just make this a string. And to let it read, I'll just use R for it to read this as a raw string so we don't have to use double backspaces. So let me just go ahead and run that, which is fine. So what I also like to do is to create our imports. So I'm just going to say import the pandas 
as GPD. And basically that's the only uh, import I'm going to need. Oops. DAS, it's Geo Pandas. Alright, so let's just run that and we'll just zoom in. Alright, so we have our Geo Pandas and we've actually seen that we could use the uh, Geo Pandas dot read file to read a file. So let's just see our SHP underscore F equals our GPD dot read underscore file and then we'll pass in the path for the Canadian underscore road. So if we run that we can see that GeoPandas has read this file. So let's say a uh, type shp underscore f. So it's, it actually stored this as a GeoPandas uh, data frame. So if we say uh, shp underscore f dot tail just to check out the uh, tail of that file we can actually see we have that information that contains the geometry as a line string. So this is the line string that shows that uh, road files path. So how do we plot this? Well, we can use a matplotlibs built in function, the plot function to actually look at how this file has been uh, set up. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now I'm just going to say uh, shp underscore f dot plot and let's just go and uh, set that to uh, yeah, let's just run the uh, plot function like that so we can actually see we have a very rough representation of the Canadian road uh, set up like that based on the uh, plot what we could do is just to use a simple C map use a color map and we can set things like let's say warm cool color palette or cool warm rather So we can actually see the uh, density based on that uh, color like that. So that's how we can simply use the uh, shape file to actually plot a chart. So uh, what we can also do is to do something much more uh, complex. Like for instance, we can take a shape file of say a country and we can use that country's shape file to plot the polygons that represent the uh, distinct of that country. And we, use, we can use a coral play map to actually display that uh, information. So, but then again, that's too advanced. We just want to uh, just jump into the shape files. Maybe in the future, we might do a complex example and show you how we can run this. But once again, just know that you can log in, uh, you can get shape files from other uh, credible sources. You can check out those uh, shape files. For instance, if we, uh, let me just go ahead and show you the uh, Eurostat reference countries. So you can actually see the reference countries from the Eurostat and you can actually extract and it can show you that path data. In fact, let's go ahead and quickly visualize this path uh, data. So I'll just get the shape file. Is a shape file for our world countries. I'll just copy that and I'll go ahead to my Jupyter notebook. Just right here, I'll just paste that path like that and I'll just run this. So this is no longer representing our uh, Canadian countries. So it's actually quite large, so it's taking up a lot of space. And let's go ahead and just look at that information right here. So it actually shows us the uh, information for those EU countries. So let's go ahead and just plot that uh, simple path map. And you can actually see it's showing us the uh, Canadian roads and also it's showing us this uh, information. Sorry, it's showing us the information of those uh, locations that we decided to plot based on the uh, uh, world uh, data. So thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next lesson.